Happy International Day of Women and Girls in Science. International Day of Women and Girls in Science is celebrated globally on February 11th. This day celebrates women in largely male-dominated fields such as science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, so this gender gap has persisted on for many years, so in order to combat it, the UN has established this day in 2015, so this is to empower women. So much progress has been made in women's fields, in women-related issues, and in women's rights over the past decade. But nonetheless, this doesn't prevent there being more progress that can be made. Women in male-dominated fields have to work much harder to get equal opportunities. This is not always the case, but women are generally born with this disadvantage. Stereotyping is also another issue that women face. So they, and this has been going on for ages, so they internalize this, and men also internalize this. So women don't give themselves the opportunity, and men don't give women the opportunity. Many women also experience fear, and unlike the common stereotype, it's not as a result of the way that they were born or their gender, but it's actually as a result of their experiences. One in every three women experiences um, domestic abuse globally. This thus means that women learn from these experiences and are afraid constantly. This shouldn't be the case. Women deserve their right to safety. According to the stereotypes as well, uh, women try to conform to them and this allows them to not live as they are, as they always are in fear of what people would think of them or what would be best to say in certain situations rather than speaking their mind. And society doesn't see women as equals. And so if they don't see women as equals, women don't either. Uh, well, not all of them, and then they teach their daughters this, and their daughters teach their daughters, and this becomes a cycle. What can we do to stop it? Well, let's see. All right, class, are we settled? Sir, I don't have a chair. I can have a strong student to get a chair for Zakim. Uh, Nanako, can you get a chair for Zakim? Thank you. Who has heard someone say, I need a strong boy to carry these chairs, or this is too heavy for you, ask one of the boys. This in itself is discrimination against women as it's stereotyping them. Not all women are weak, and not all women need a strong man to protect them. Why should women be subjected to such discrimination? Why? People often think that women are just weak and thus scared to walk alone at night and wary of strangers around them. This is not a matter of strength. This is a matter of experiences that women have faced. We hear stories about women who have been abducted or attacked just because of their gender. Let the statistics speak for themselves. One in three women have faced regular abuse from, from strangers. This is not normal. This is why women deserve the right to safety. So yesterday I was walking down the beach and I saw a lot of plastic in the sand. And it, it really made me sad because when you think about it, global warming as a whole is a very serious problem. We, we need to do something about it. Because yeah, it's... so with global warming, that upsets me a lot with what's happening in the ocean and the fact that we're doing this. It's just a lot. Women, especially in male-dominated fields and areas, are regularly subjected to prejudice in work or school. This stems from the stereotype that men know more about specific subjects than women do. Is that possible? Is it possible that a certain gender is born with more knowledge about other subjects that the others cannot obtain? It's in these environments that women have been proven to face some of the hardest difficulties, from men talking over them to leaving them out of crucial conversations. Women are forced to constantly work harder in, a, in order to achieve their aims. STEAM is a very, very important subject, and it is the foundation of many jobs of the future, such as engineering, physics, maths, designing, computer science, and more. STEAM is not only a useful subject to help with university and job applications, but also to help with the environment. Our planet is not in great shape, and it is imperative we save it now, as there is a limited amount of time to save it. Technology can help us create the solution, and engineering and designing skills are necessary as well as physics and maths abilities. Many women have contributed to STEAM all across our vast oceans 
An example of this is Julie Matican. She performs analysis on tuna fish to make sure that they don't carry any harmful viruses. Another example is Maya Celestine. She sells fruits and other naturally grown products at a market in the seashells. She hasn't used a plastic bag in 15 years. She hates the fact that most of them end up in the ocean. She has said, I looked around me and said, why is all this plastic wasted? She is very inspirational because she is just a normal person who does the little things to contribute to making a big impact. Hi Dana, what's your position in Metito and what does that entail? I'm a business associate at Metito. I work with the governmental authority to develop and enhance their water, wastewater and renewable energy sector, making clean water and green energy accessible to people across different countries. Why did you decide to work in SEM? So working in SEM for me is learning about the world around you, finding innovative solutions to real world problems and playing a role in some of the country's major discoveries and development. In fact, back in high school, math and physics were my favorite subject. I even appreciated the fun part of math and the creative part of science. So at the end of high school, engineering was the perfect choice for me, and I cannot imagine doing anything differently. It is intellectually challenging, immediately applicable to society, and evolve around exciting new technologies. What were some of the ob obstacles you faced while trying to get to where you are now? So in this field, women are still judged to be less competent than men and remain underrepresented. So this can create some personal discouragement, but shouldn't. And also women tend to run the risk of becoming less likable when they uh, demonstrate clear competence. There are some other challenges such as uh, demanding career uh, advancement, equal pay, so on and so forth. And for me and other women in general, we leverage our persistence, creativity and productivity and we achieve great things in the staff. How does being a woman affect your experiences in both working and getting an education in SDEM? Now, for the last 50 years, uh, there has been major progress toward gender equality in, in, in both education and employment. Uh, I have personally been encouraged and appreciated by my teacher and my family to pursue career in STEM. And also, I currently found myself at Metito, where um, I am treated as an equal and given the trust and support to achieve my greatest potentials. Thank you. A global theme for International Day of Women and Girls in Science 2022 is the science we need for the oceans that we want. Marine pollution is a combination of chemicals and rubbish which can cause the contamination of the ocean and lead to the damage and health of different types of marine organisms. However, all hope is not lost as scientists have developed a plastic heating enzyme known as Idionella Sicaiosis 201 F6. When artificial islands are built over fragile ecosystems, they can cause damage to different types of seagrass beds and coral reefs. However, Nina Jensen and the Ocean Data Foundation aim to gather information to help scientists find a, a, a stop to ocean decay. Our land-based activities such as greenhouses causes global warming, which is one of the major contributors to ocean decay. However, you can also help by stopping uh, throwing your plastics away in the ocean and instead recycle, lower your energy consumption and stop using chemical fertilizers or sprays. We hope you choose to save our oceans. Okay. Hi, I'm Alison and I run Subkids UAE. We've been paddling the coastline of Dubai for the last four years at Subkids UAE and we've seen a difference in the beaches, the pollution and the marine life. It's no wonder that there's a depleting marine life in Dubai with all the construction, the banging and the hammering would be like waking up with somebody banging and hammering right outside your bedroom door. That's not even taking into consideration the jet skis that make such a noise. It would be like living next to the Formula One racetrack. Now the rubbish we find floating in our ocean doesn't necessarily come from the people in Dubai. This is rubbish that's picked up in currents and tides and brought to our beaches and when we have storms it's washed up on our beaches here in Dubai. It's not all doom and gloom. We've had some very interesting visitors here in Dubai. A few years ago we had a whale shark in the marina. We have dolphins frequenting us, although they were here a lot more a few years ago. Last week there was a whale and even orcas off the coast of our off of our coast. It just really brings me joy that the students at Nord Anglia are 
taking an initiative to see where they can help and what difference they can make. All I can take is if you see rubbish on the beach, please lead by example and pick it up. Hello, my name is Anaya and this is Ines. Today we are going to discuss how the UAE is helping protect its oceans, as well as the challenges it is facing. The UAE faces quite the challenge. They have over 3% of 14, mil 14 million tons of plastic getting dumped into their oceans. Additionally, we could lose up to 6% of coastline inhabitants due to rising sea levels. However, the UAE is also doing its part to protect its oceans. Some examples of this are, they are currently banning sea dumping. We currently have 16 protected marine areas, the percentage of uh, increase of protected marine areas increased from 15.07 to 15.33%. And the UAE has even joined a group called Global Ocean Alliance with over 30 countries that help protect the ocean life and its coasts. The UAE also has added the mission of protecting its oceans to the national agenda. We want to thank you so much for listening. We hope you have learned a lot and decided to be part of the solution. And not the pollution. Thank, thank you. you. Now, if this is something that you are interested in, you are probably wondering how you can help smash stereotypes and celebrate diversity as a part of this day. The NAS community's main objective is to raise awareness and showcase the brilliant minds of young women and girls through STEAM and AI. So, what can you do to help? Educate others on the importance of women in STEAM by using the hashtag diversify to develop. Many of the things we view today are through platforms like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and other social medias. We learn new things by other people, content making and sharing. This is exactly what you can do. Whenever you see a photo or a video of women taking on more leadership roles or responsibility, or you just want to talk about the subject in general, ensure that you have used this tag. The message will soon spread and help us convey this important initiative.